The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. Understanding big data is one of the fundamentals and it's about accessing information from a wide pool of areas at both high speed and real time. And the question then becomes is how to manage it. Technology then plays in this digital A is a key part to it. So not only would it allow us to deliver more from the infrastructure we have, but it will also allow us to identify areas of, of, of improvements. It is early days for big data and for our understanding and use of big data but I'm already seeing projects coming through where we start to look at leveraging the available data to start providing information for better incident and network management. The value in big data is able to harness its power and say what does it tell us about the transport network? Where should I spend my money? Or I have spent the money, what has it done for us? Almost all the core functions in uh, main roads are driven by data. So good quality data is absolutely fundamental to what we do in main roads. That's why we have partnered with agencies like SBE and NRC to uh, sort of explore the next advances in big data analytics because we want to strategically position ourselves to make the best use of uh, this exponential growth uh, in the area of data. We have seen uh, through analysis of existing projects all around the world that most significant achievements on utilization of these big data analytics in, in dynamic uh, traffic management in, and also in emergency management. So traffic agencies all around the world are increasingly using data to inform the way they manage the transport network in cities and also plan for its future growth. At the same time, we're seeing an incredible increase in digitization of information from our cell phones, from our cars, buildings, the information system. Imagine a, a world where these cars here are talking to each other, they're talking to the stoplights, they're talking to the buildings, they know where the congestion is, they know how, when the next train is at the closest station, how long it's going to be if you park there and go to work. Uh, and traffic managers are really thinking about how to harness that. And it's, it's quite a complicated topic. So this project has been looking at some of the best examples of how that's being done now from Australia and all around the world. And what's next? What are some of the new digital platforms that can harness this data to make these amazing cities of ours really work for all of us.